And so our fourth school here is Crystal Springs Upland School. And so a brief introduction about Crystal Springs is that they have uh, two campuses. Uh, they do not have an elementary elementary school. It's grades 6 through 12. So their middle school campus is in Belmont and then their high school campus is in Hillsboro. Uh, their teacher to student ratio is currently 1 to 9 and 76% of teachers hold advanced degrees. Their main grade entrance is 6 and 9 and their current average GPA for high school unweighted is 3.87. For their tuition, it is 54,445 uh, for all grades. And then for their UC admission for UC Berkeley and UCLA, uh, they did see a drop like the other schools, it was 32% down to 18% from 2019 to 2020. And then they didn't have any information on the official UC admission website for UCLA in 2020, but it was 21% for 2019. For some key characteristics about Crystal Springs, uh, they do have a detailed social emotional learning program. Uh, essentially what this one wants to focus on is they wanna focus on teaching children uh, conflict management and resolution. They do believe that uh, there's gonna, definitely gonna be debates and arguments when uh, students are in school trying to uh, figure out who's right and who's wrong. However, they wanna focus on making sure that students know that you should come at each other from the perspective of everyone is a friend and no one is an enemy here. You can have debates, you can have disagreements, just don't uh, get feisty or anything. So they definitely want to create, they definitely want to urge uh, conflict management and resolution because that is definitely a life skill that will help them uh, throughout their life. And they also want to focus for their social emotional learning on teaching empathy and realizing everyone's kind of struggles, understanding them as best as they can so that they can kind of connect with the students. Uh, students Students can connect with each other on a more personal level. Um, Crystal Springs also works to try and create an emphasis on making sure that students live a balanced life so that they're not, they're obviously working very hard for their academics and trying to be academically successful, but they're also trying to to pursue uh, their other interests and hobbies, whether it's reading or sports, or what, whatever you have, they want to make sure that there is a balance um, so that the students can actually focus on uh, mindfulness education uh, so that they can help uh, their mental health and stress levels because if students are living more balanced lives their stress levels will be lower uh, mental health will be better and they'll definitely have more energy to kind of focus on their academics and then for their last uh, key characteristic uh, this isn't really news this has been going on since 2012 to 2013 but for those who don't know much about crystal springs uh crystal springs doesn't have ap courses anymore they have replaced them with designed honors classes which are similar uh, a lot of these honors courses uh, actually are, they are equivalent to AP courses. However, um, they decided to change it up uh, so they're not actually called AP courses anymore. And they, they made this decision because uh, they wanted to give the teachers more leeway, more kind of creative freedom to uh, tweak the classes and make sure that there's more activities, more group projects, because they believe that's how students can get more out of that class. And in their opinion, it'll help them be more successful in the long run. Um, so that is some information on Crystal Springs' key characteristics. Uh, one key characteristic that we're going to talk about next, uh, I think, will is kind of a, a characteristic that separates them from the other, something that they're doing that the other schools aren't as much. And that is their uh, global initiative program. Essentially what their global initiative program does is that it allows students at Crystal Springs to study abroad and gain valuable real world experiences. Uh, they provide short term study trips, homestays, international internships and study away opportunities. Um, for instance, over the past couple of years, students have traveled to various countries such as China, France, Peru, Costa Rica, Canada, India, Spain, Morocco, Germany, Zambia, and Botswana. Uh, one example of their global initiative program is that all eighth grade students do have the opportunity to travel abroad uh, based on which language they're currently studying in school. So for students that are studying Spanish, they go to Costa Rica. Students that are studying French, they go to Quebec, and, which is in Canada. And then students studying Mandarin go to Shanghai. Uh, last year in spring of 2020, they went to Iceland because of the COVID restrictions. Uh, but as you can see, um, one kind of thing that Crystal Springs is working on is they, they value uh, learning through uh, international uh, education and gaining those experiences outside of the country that they believe are valuable for kind of real life uh, learning lessons. And they want students to have that opportunity at Crystal Springs because some students may not have the time or the resources to do so. So that's kind of a key characteristic for Crystal Springs. But let's get into a couple uh, feedback that we received from parents. 
Uh, some of the feedback that we received from parents uh, is that the junior level schools do have a lot more young teachers and new administrators as well, and more classes with a wide range of academic fields. Um, however, they do think the, the high school teachers uh, are good as well. Um, but they did like the junior level specifically. And then this other feedback, which was a direct quote said, uh, my son has just entered grade six and he is very happy at the school every day. The teachers are very enthusiastic and professional. In addition, the students are friendly and love learning. However, they do think that the sports curriculum and the food need to be strengthened. So that's kind of definitely a, a good feedback that we received. We think the, the friendly uh, students definitely helps contribute to their balanced life and social emotional learning efforts. Uh, but they do seem to lack a little bit for their sports curriculum, which may need uh, some improvement throughout the years. Um, but this is the parent feedback for Crystal Springs. Now we'll move on to our final school.